What's going on guys? Mike Burke here representing the Power of Gaming and today we're going to feel the power of Resident Evil 7. Now I've already played through Resident Evil 7. I'm going to start a new game and I'll show you guys all the collectibles. Let's start it. I guess there's a trophy for picking up every single file, which is what these things are called, files. So I'm gonna have to go and pick this up again, join us, read the whole thing, put it back, go through. This game has a really, really weird feel to it, ominous. Now, Jack is gonna walk in front of us. This is some screwy shit. Go pick up the bag, grab another collectible, driver's license. That's it for the bag. And then we'll head on inside of the house and grab the VHS tape. We'll head back down the stairs, go to the TV. Pop that some bitch in there. And uh see what happens. This guy, give me a break, Pete. Hey, Pete's an asshole. I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want to repeat it. Okay, now, there's one thing you can do in this VHS tape, and it's going to be an antique coin in the house. So when you start the level, you're going to want to just turn around, look at the ground, pick up the lock pick. Okay, don't have to move at all. Then you'll head on in the house, and in the kitchen, there's going to be a drawer that you can unlock. Once you unlock that drawer, um, like once you get out of the Just tape the and you start playing as okay. Ethan again, go back to the drawer, it'll be unlocked, pick up the antique coin. That's how you get antique coin number one. Happy? Ecstatic. Are we rolling? Alright, let's go. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Get out of the way. It's locked. After you. So in the kitchen. Why are we in hell this time? It's gonna be this drawer right here. What's the with the lock on it. Now if you unlock this here, now it'll be unlocked in the future. Or Ethan is. It's just a picture in here right now. If you go back with Ethan, there'll be a coin in there. Pretty straightforward so far. Story, Andre. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul place suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh... Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! You know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre? 
Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where is he? Unfucking believable! It's the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. fucking kidding me. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. How would we just say, fuck Andre and fuck the show and we'll both just get out of here alive. That's not how it's going to work though. hero shot of me coming down the ladder so uh you first what do you see what is it uh the andre andre is either dead or he's been hanging out with snoop dogg Hey, he dead. He dead. Jesus. Okay, so now after the VHS tape, we can open this, but first we're going to go grab our antique coin. Which is back in the kitchen. And this drawer will be open now. Bam! Antique coin, bitch. Now we can head to the basement. game is still scary even if you've played through it which is pretty impressive it's got that weird feeling to it like you, anything can happen Ethan farted that's all that was Andre went for a little swim.
first try. Push this open. And we'll talk to Mia. Mia. Oh, thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? He. Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Move your ass, bitch. What? What is this place? What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. me what you did I didn't okay fine just tell me what's going on I'm telling you everything that I know we have to go this way this motherfucker ship shaped it into Mia's body Mia are you sure you know where you're going the family used to bring me food through here I remember I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Fucking door just vanishes, Mia. You're hallucinating again. Stay off that drug that I've been telling you about. You need to stop smoking the devil's pubes. I'm sure of it. What is this? E001. It's Granny. She's just gonna sleep? Get the fuck up, bitch. Mia. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Oh, camera angle's here. wonky in this one. Look, look at that shoulder. Look at that shoulder. If that's Mia, that's a fat looking version of Mia. I love how he just puts the doll back on the ground. Like, you could stand it up on a shelf, you ignorant piece of shit. Ethan is on the list. Mia? The door is magically open. So we'll go through here. Head on up the stairs. Door opens. So now we'll just... Collect everything that's up here. Guest house map. That'll come in handy as you can see. Close that some bitch. Pick up some meds.
Must be that time of the month. Stupid. Oh shit. Oh dear. God, I hate this bitch. I hate this bitch so much. Uh, this is where we break up, okay? If you can pick me up and throw me off the wall with one hand, we should probably see other people. You should probably be dating The Rock. Alright. The Rock is probably the only guy who's gonna deal with this crazy ass. So we're just gonna resist her love right now. She's trying to love me. BDSM, we're role playing. Don't worry, it's all fake guys. He is a stupid bitch. She is freaking out. to the phone. Talk to this away. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Oh, there should be a way through the attic. This is where we get the fuse for the attic. Obviously. God, I hate this fucking game. So we'll throw the fuse back into 
in the box. And that should work, and now I'll head back upstairs. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. You shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! So did that, you stupid twat. So this gun has the hand, or this room has the handgun, sorry, and then you don't actually have to conserve your ammo in this boss fight because it doesn't carry over, as you'll see what happens. The goal is just to get as much ammo as you possibly can before climbing the ladder. So I'll grab this. And this should be more than enough. There's some more around here, but let's go fight this bitch. Oh, there it is there. So now we got all the ammo. She's gone fucking for this. Oh yeah, he just reloads so casual. Like fucking throw that in there and shoot that bitch. The salami. Ethan wants to hide the salami. Crazy fucking bitch. If your girl shows signs of this girl, I think it's time to get rid of her. Don't know what else to say, but okay. So we got all the collectibles in this one. Welcome to the family, son. And Jack knocks us out. Right next to me, I could incidentally have a fucking stroke. I can't talk today. But <clears throat> that's all the collectibles for the prologue. Now we're gonna head into chapter two, I guess. So we're gonna drag through the mud. It's a nice sunny fucking day. Come on. Don't you die on us now. You have work to do. That's some crazy shit. Where? Where am I? What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? <laughs> Eat it. It's good. Dumb, some bitch wouldn't know good if it hit him. Yeah. Oh, 
kind of rewind this for a second because I'm pretty sure that Lucas just tried to grab his dad's ball sack. I'm not 100% sure we'll play it back, but that hand went for that dick. That's all I'm saying. Shut the hell up, Marjorie. She blinked. Brandy's alive. So that was Resident Evil 7, Chapter 1. We got all the collectibles in that chapter, so if you guys want to follow along, I'll link the times in the description below. You can get all the collectibles for yourself, and we'll play Chapter 2 tomorrow. I don't know if you would want to feel the power of Resident Evil 7, but you're gonna. See you tomorrow, bitch.